Hey y'all, welcome to the episode of Thrifting with Tony. I'm Tony and this is Thrifting with Tony. Today I'm gonna to go ahead and show you all the cool stuff that we picked up together. Um, I'm gonna to do a thrift store haul of all the stuff we picked up at the DI or Desert Industries over there in Gilbert, Arizona. Um, we did mug out, so we did get a lot of mugs and I'm really excited to show you those. Uh, we did find a few other things. It was a Saturday, so I wasn't really expecting to do like a huge haul because it's on the weekends, it's usually like pick through because there's so many people. My favorite day to go thrifting is a Wednesday um, or a Thursday because over here, Thursdays are dollar days. So you can find some, whatever the tag is, you can get it for a dollar. So those are my days I like to go thrifting. But we, my friend was here and I was like, oh, screw it, let's go. So we went to the DI and we did find some things and I'm ready to show you. But first guys, you like my shirt? <laughs> I actually got this off Poshmark um, from my homegirl Gloria. She has a YouTube called uh, Via Glow and she sells on, I don't even know how many um, freaking platforms she sells on, but she sells clothing and she does a really good job at it. And she shares an abundance of information on how to increase your sales um, if that's what you're into. I don't really do the clothing thing because you guys know I buy for my family. But um, if that's what you're interested in, then definitely you should go check her out. She's amazing, she's so sweet, and she's real just like me. So if you like my personality, you're definitely gonna love her. I just wanna thank you for this beautiful shirt, and thank you so much, I love it. Going on to shirts, I'm gonna show you the stuff that I picked up for myself that wasn't on camera, because like I said, I don't resell clothing. But I bought this because I love to hike, and I hike with the kids, and it says, um, hike, because people are stupid. Is that what it says? Oh no, because people suck. <laughs> Same thing. <clears throat> so I thought it was really cute. I like the little print and I can wear this on my little hike. And then people can know to leave me the fuck alone because I'm in the zone. <laughs> but I really like that. Um, I also picked up this. If you didn't know. Uh, well, obviously I'm gay. <laughs> 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 Duh. But uh, me and Frankie are together uh, and uh, we're dads. And, he, and to unconfuse the kids, he goes by dad or daddy and I go by papa. And so I found this shirt <laughs> and it says, um, go ask papa club. And I love it. Cause if you know, like, I'm not saying I'm like the primary parent, Fergus is a very good parent, but just to point it out, Last night, Aubrey was upstairs, Fergus was upstairs, and Aubrey did no longer want to watch what she was watching on TV, so she passed up Fergus and went all the way downstairs to ask me to walk my ass upstairs and help her with it when Fergus was clearly there. So, I thought it was funny, and that it's always like that around here, and it's okay. <laughs> so go ask Papa. I thought it was cute. I'll definitely um, be wearing this. And I love it. And you know what? I love the this, the... Uh, the style, the ringer T style. I like the rings around the neck and the arms. I really like that. Reminds me of, it's called a ringer. But anyways, let's get into the stuff that we picked up together. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this welcome sign. So we picked it up for $4 and I really like it. And I'm gonna sell this on Marketplace. I'm gonna put it up there for 25 bucks. If someone gives me 20 bucks, I'll take it. Um, we did pick it up for four, so I think that would be a really cute and easy flip. Um, if it doesn't sell a marketplace for in the next week or so, then um, I'm just going to list it on my Etsy and I'm positive it'll sell on there. It's really cute. You can hang it too. You see that? And then um, I thought it was really sweet. So I like sunflowers and a lot of other people like sunflowers. That is why I picked this up. Um, let's see. I also picked up this little kitchen knife. And um, it's just a little, oh, it's a pen too. Oh my gosh, look at that. So it's a pen and a knife cutter or a letter opener. And it goes into this little spot right here. And it has these little ducks. And I think it's really cute. And I do really good with the ducks. We've discussed that before. So I picked this up for $4. And I probably can get 25 to 28 bucks is what I'm gonna put it up for. So. I think that's a really good flip. Um, I also picked up this cookie jar, which has this cute ass mousse on the front, and I love it. Um, last week we picked up a mug that was kind of like this. Um, it's called Moose Country. I remember that's the pattern, um, and the company is something I can't really pronounce, starts with a T. But it kind of has like the same feel. Um, it's not marked that company, 
Um, but I thought it was really sweet and cute and I like the little speckle and it's really Christmassy and I think it will do well. Uh, we picked this up for six bucks, um, a little more than what I want to pay for it, but we were there on a Saturday, so I get what I get. <laughs> but if you remember this guy, we saw him two weeks ago and we passed up on him because he didn't have a price. And um, I went back and he still was there. He didn't have a price, so I took him up front and she gave it to me for a dollar. So I really loved him and it's hand painted. And I think we can get probably maybe 14 to 15 bucks. Um, I really like it. And if not, I'll keep it. It's like a little parrot. It can just sit right there on your oh, shoulder. <laughs> Let's see, what else did we pick up? So I picked up this because I have sold this before. I think I sold it for $17.99 or $18.99, something like that. And it was a dollar, and all I had to do was click, click, and then relist it. So, I mean, why not? It, so I picked it up. I'm trying to, it's like an easy flip if it's already sold. I remember it sold quick. Um, so I can just poop, poop, and then I have a listing up there. I don't think I'm gonna meet my goal, guys. I was supposed, I wanted to be at 1,200 listings um, by the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter is like two weeks away. And I'm at like 1,050 listings. So <laughs> I have 100 more 50 listings to go. I don't think I'm gonna make it, but you know what? It's a blessing because every time I list or get close or get up there, you know, I just get an abundance of sales and you know what? I'm not mad about it. It's a blessing, I'm gonna take it and you know what, I'll get there next year. So <laughs> next year I'm gonna try to be at 1500 by fourth quarter. So I can do that for sure. Um, these I picked up because I'm going to make a fall wreath for my, um, my door out front. I have made one before and it's time for me to make a new one. Uh, and I thought they were really good because normally I pay anywhere between, I don't know, four to $10 for ribbon. And this one was $4, but I got them for 75 cents a peach. So I thought that was really good. And I think it'll look really nice um, with some burlap and maybe some fall sunflowers. Um, is this like chevron? Is this a chevron pattern? I think that's what it's called. But I think it'll be super cute. <laughs> so that's why I picked it up. And that is all the knickknacks that we picked up. So let's mug it, y'all. Okay, let's start with uh, the salt mugs. So I picked up these three salt mugs. They're all different. If you remember, there was actually four of them, but one was chips, so I didn't pick it up. Um, I've sold this one before, and I thought it was really cute. This one's from 1968, and it's super vintage-y. Someone was telling me that they use the salt mugs for makeup brush holders, so you can use them for that. Um, you can use them for mugs, you can use them for decor. People use mugs for everything, let me tell you. Um, this one is from this one's a little older uh, style, but I really like it. And then there's this one. This one, the late the girl looks so sweet. I look at her. But people do collect these type of mugs. And I don't know if I'm gonna sell them separately or in a lot. I might be able to get more if I sell them in a lot because they are the three different ones. I, I think they're the four, there's more. Obviously there's more, but I only have the three, so I'm gonna see how much I can get for the three together or separately, and then we'll see how, which way I can make more money. But I thought those were super cool. Um, um, this one I thought was funny. Um, it is a souvenir, souvenir mug, but it doesn't tell you where it's from. Um, it says, howdy from the middle of nowhere, and it says two feet from hell, 30 miles from water, 50 miles from town, and I thought it was really cute and funny, and I can, put different tags on these souvenir mugs because it just shows a desert. So I can put Arizona, I can put Utah, I can put um, New Mexico, Texas, uh, California even has desert so I can tag them. Um, so this is a really versatile souvenir mug and it's funny. So I think it will do well. Let's see, oh, we'll do these two. So we found two WWE mugs. Um, let's see, yeah, WWE. Because when I was growing up, it was WWF, but um, yeah, they changed that. But this one has The Rock on it. So I know he's popular and this is vintage. -y. I don't even think he's wrestling anymore. Mr. Dwayne Johnson. He sure changed his career, y'all. He went from wrestling, but he's all in these Disney movies. He's, he is doing it. Good for you, Dwayne. 
but um, I thought they were super cute and um, my kid liked them too. All right, this is a dad's cup and it's super versatile as well because you can mark it as um, Father's Day, uh, dad gift. You can also uh, mark it as Taz because it's Taz being David, uh, devil. You can do hockey, you can do baseball, you can do, there's so, it's so versatile that there's so many tags that I can put on this mug that um, someone's gonna find it and, and like it. So you can put hockey dad, baseball dad. Um, I don't know, there's just so many. So I, this is a really good mug because it has so many points of interest that you can definitely find a buyer for that. So that was a really super good one. All right. We have five more mugs left. <clears throat> Let's see. I love this one because I love flamingos. And they were like my favorite animal at one point. Um, and I like the front and then that little pattern around the picture just follows it all the way back. So this is very, I can tag Florida, I can tag flamingos, I can tag wildlife lover. You know, there's just different things I can tag for this one. Um, but I think the flamingo is gonna sell it because there's a lot of flamingo lovers like myself. <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, this one is super cute. I really loved it. Every time I find a, like a, um, a dinosaur mug or something, I think of Ross from Friends because he's a paleontologist. But this says Coffee Saurus Rex. It has a little um, dinosaur on there. I like this little uh, detailing in here. And I love the two-tone mugs. Those are, I love it. I like See, like this is just, it, it, it's nice, but this is really nice. You know, I, this is what I favor in a mug, the two-tone. Um, but I really like this mug. I think it's really cute. And that's why I picked it up for only 75 cents. That was a good one. This one I know is gonna do super well. This one was also 75 cents, but it's the king. Um, it's Elvis Presley and I do well with them during the winter time. I think people buy a ton of mugs during the winter time for people. I get people coming in buying like eight of them because they buy them for their whole family. I don't know if that's what they do um, during the winter time, just buy them a new mug, but I don't care because <laughs> I have them for you to buy. So I bought this one and I think it's super cute. And we will definitely be putting that on the store. I'm gonna have an easy week. It's just mugs. I can list mugs like this. Like, it ain't no thing. Um, this is a Broncos mug for the Super Bowl. Uh, and I think, it, when is it from? Da -da -da. 1998, so it is vintage. And so I'm gonna put that up there. I do really good with the sports mugs as well. Um, people love them. And they sell during winter time as well. Like all of the sports stuff just I'm waiting for that fourth quarter, y'all, because I'm ready to collect my check, okay? Because y'all been collecting checks all year long, and I'm ready to collect mine, so <laughs> I can't wait. So if you don't see me in the fourth quarter, it's because I'm busy packing and wrapping packages, y'all. So maybe I'll take my vacation then. But <laughs> this is the last mug that we picked up. Um, I thought it was really gorgeous and super cute. Um, it's a daughter's mug, and it's Precious Moments. So I can definitely tag all the precious moments, daughter, daughter day, um, daughter's gift, things like that. It says a source of joy, pride, and love. That is so sweet. I would definitely get this for Aubrey, but she don't drink coffee. So <laughs> we're just gonna sell it. And that is what I picked up this week. Not too much, because I was really busy this week and um, I had company coming from out of state and it was a lot, but it's always a lot in my life. But anyways, I just want to thank y'all for tuning in and watching this little haul. And I appreciate all of you guys for supporting our channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification if you like the content. Because I'm definitely going to be throwing out some more. Um, next week, I'm going to take it a little bit easy next week. I'm only going to I'm going to do two Thrift With Me videos and probably just the haul. Um, I throw out little videos here and there, but... I really need to focus on getting my life together. <laughs> I feel like it's just all over the place right now. I have like half-assed projects all over the house that have not been done. And I just want to kind of knock some of those things out and get my life back into a normal. I need to have a organized, cleaned house. 
and I have a lot of projects that are just cluttering up and I just need to do them and get it over with. I know some of y'all have been in that spot, but as always, thank you so much for supporting our channel. And as always, I'm sending you off into the weekend with a bunch of love and positivity. And I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I'll follow up with you guys soon. Bye y'all. Thank you for thrifting with Tony. Mucho, mucho amor. <laughs>